Hey, what's going on, boss man? So uh, I was making the, uh, I made a small video for you, man, just so you can see what a good deal would look like and what a bad deal would look like as well. So the property you had uh, sent me uh, through text was the property on 10266 Bridgeland Lane. And even though it was for a very cheap price, you'll be able to see if the numbers make sense at the end of the day. So what I did was I wanted to see what homes are currently on the market, what's pending and what has sold within the last six months, right? 180 days, that's six months. And I pulled up seven matches. This is within a quarter mile of this property, which is in West Branch. So uh, we're gonna pull up the results here and see what properties have sold and everything. Now this home here that you're inquiring about is 1,200 square feet. So I needed to see what matched up to it as close as possible. And it's this property here that leased out. All these have leased out because you told me that was your exit strategy. You wanted to buy a home to possibly rent out. So this property here, it leased out for twelve hundred. Obviously, it is smaller, uh, like almost a, a little less than two hundred square foot smaller than yours. Uh, but let's take a look at the pictures and just see how it looks. Pretty basic from the front, man. Nothing really nice. Uh, as you can see from the inside, they got that cheap old tile. The kitchen really doesn't have nothing to it. Uh, you know, your formica doesn't even have granite. And they leased out for uh, for twelve hundred a month. Uh, it has three bedrooms, and they leased out in in eighteen days. Now, with that being said, what I did was I emailed you a uh, hypothetical situation regarding mortgage. So this property that you were inquiring about was for uh, 119000 What I did was I uh, gave you, just like I said, a hypothetical scenario with a 5% down payment, which is a little bit less than six grand, uh, with your interest rate being 5.5. Again, that can be less depending on your credit. And uh, the taxes are really, are really cheap in this area. The taxes were $2,400. Uh, a year and i put an annual insurance about 1200 dollars a year with your private mortgage insurance at 150 a month um since you're not putting 20 percent down but in a nutshell your payment was coming out to be a little less than 1100 a month now seeing how this property here rented out for 1200 uh essentially you would be making you know maybe a hundred bucks a month if that uh let's just say we fix it up a little and you can Move it up to thirteen hundred a month since it is a little bit bigger. We're talking about two hundred dollars a month at that. Is it worth it at the end of the year, man? I I, I don't think so. Twenty four hundred a, a year, but at the same time you got to take into account if they mess up the property, you got to take money out of that to fix it, and if, you know any anything that's broken down, you got to continuously put money into it. So I don't think this investment would possibly make sense for this one. So it just goes to show you, even though a home may be cheap uh, by what it looks on the market, when we start looking into it with the numbers, it may not be the best uh, purchase for you. So that's what we're going to be doing moving forward. If I find a deal, man, that I know makes sense, I'm going to be sending it to you. And again, we'll be running the numbers so you can see where I'm getting everything from. So I thank you for your time. If you have any questions, man, feel free to give me a call. And hopefully we'll be able to get you one by the end of this year. All righty, man. Bye-bye.